Avengers Infinity War has come and gone, and we've learned a lot about the Avengers by the end of it. Some superheroes remain just as powerful as they were before the movie, but Infinity War has changed the way we look at each Avenger regardless. Warning, if you somehow haven't seen any of the latest films in the MCU yet, there will be major spoilers. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with CBR, and ring that little bell to become a part of our notification squad so you never ever miss a video. Without further ado, here are some of the strongest and some of the weakest Avengers post-Infinity War. Oh, by the way, this is a friend of mine, Tree. I am Groot! I am Steve Rogers. Strongest, Captain America. Who better to start with than Cap? For starters, he's an ordinary human who's been jacked up to the peak of human potential, so of course he's going to be one of the strongest Avengers even after Infinity War. Captain America has fought against the Chitauri, Ultron and his robot army, and against Iron Man's anti-Sokovia Accords team, and he held his own quite admirably. There were concerns about how his shield and pure strength would match up against Thanos, but he came out of Avengers Infinity War looking even more formidable. Captain America was able to help to save Vision from Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight. He also took out legions of those nasty looking outriders and was somehow able to block one of Thanos' fierce strikes while the Mad Titan was in possession of five Infinity Stones. If that's not impressive, we don't know what is. Voice activation required. Banner. Welcome, strongest Avenger. Oh, uh, what? Weakest. Hulk. The Hulk got his chance to show he's the strongest individual in the universe in Ragnarok's gladiatorial arena, but we've known about his incredible strength for years. He's fought with the likes of Abomination, Thor, Loki, a Chitauri Leviathan, and Fenris, yet after Infinity War, he's become one of the weakest. After going up against Thanos early in the movie, a fight in which he was beaten down quite emphatically, he refused to come out for the rest of the film, which is really unlike the easily irritatable Hulk we've learned to love. He also wouldn't take part in the huge battle in Wakanda, which forced Bruce Banner to don the Hulkbuster armor that was designed to fight against him instead. It wasn't a good showing for the Hulk, but hopefully he could get it together in Avengers 4. He's never fought me. Yeah, he has. He's never fought me twice. Strongest, Thor. He's the Asgardian God of Thunder, so of course he's one of the most powerful heroes in the MCU. Harnessing his full electric potential and having his trusty weapon Mjolnir by his side, Thor can take on anyone and anything. But in Infinity War, he took an off-screen beating at the hands of Thanos and his children, surviving an explosion, sending himself flying into space without Mjolnir. To forge a new hammer, Thor took the force of a star before reuniting with his fellow Avengers and heroes in the Battle of Wakanda. Thor easily took out hordes of Outriders with his new weapon, but it was what he did to Thanos that surprised us. Although he didn't finish the Mad Titan off, Thor was able to battle through the full force of all six Infinity Stones to ram Stormbreaker into the villain's chest. It was the closest anyone's ever come to defeating Thanos. Does anyone have any orange slices? Weakest. Ant-Man. Now, Ant-Man wasn't actually in Avengers Infinity War, so saying he's one of the weakest is a bit harsh. But if we get into his character, you'll see why. Scott Lang himself isn't the most powerful character out there. It's the suit that makes the superhero. The recently released Ant-Man and the Wasp movie shows him in action after the events of 2016's Captain America Civil War, so Scott Lang could have contributed if he wanted to. Marvel even confirmed Ant-Man and the Wasp takes place before Infinity War, and we get a taste of it in one of the post credit scenes. In this scene, we see Ant-Man enter the Quantum Realm where he can only escape if Hank, Janet, or Hope is on the other side. It turns out they disappeared in Thanos' finger snap, meaning Scott is stuck in the Quantum Realm. How's he gonna join the fight now? He's coming to us. I say we take the fight to him. Strongest Iron Man Tony Stark is arguably the most important player in the MCU. His first movie started the whole thing off, and he's the flagship character of the franchise. He has a genius intellect and so many weapons at his disposal, so of course he's one of the strongest Avengers, and his stock went up even higher post-Infinity War. The new nanotechnology housed in Stark's chest allows for the instant creation of pretty much any device he needs, and it even allows his suit to instantly form around his body at any given moment. This tech makes him much more difficult to take down, as he was able to take on Cull Obsidian and found a way to make Thanos bleed while he was in possession of three Infinity Stones. That's quite impressive to say the least. But we need to go. Weakest Vision Vision was one of the strongest characters in the Avengers leading up to Infinity War. 
He has the ability to fly, emit high energy blasts, and face through matter. He should have been a force to be reckoned with heading into Infinity War, but it just didn't happen. For starters, he needed to be saved by the human trio of Captain America, Black Widow, and Falcon when he was attacked in Scotland, and had no part to play in the Battle of Wakanda. Obviously, Thanos was coming for him to take the Mind Stone, and he had no chance of defending himself once the Mad Titan got a hold of him, but he could have been much more important to the story. Instead, he suffered a brutal death at the hands of Thanos. I'm gonna ask one time. Who are you? You're the Avengers, man. Strongest, Spider-Man. Spider-Man may only be a high school student, but his spidey senses and superhuman strength set him apart from your typical teenager. It was a little crazy for him to sneak his way into the ship that Iron Man and Doctor Strange infiltrated, but that's totally something Peter Parker would do. Being a teenager and all, he probably didn't think before he acted, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. He showed a lot of chemistry, working with his idol and mentor Iron Man nearly removing the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos, before Star-Lord had to go and ruin everything, but we'll get into that later. The kid showed heart, and we think we all shed a collective tear when we saw him disintegrate at the end of the film. Marvel, we don't feel so good. We're fighting an army of robots, and I have a bow and arrow. Weakest, Hawkeye. As great as Hawkeye is, he doesn't quite fit this battle cloth. Thanos' minions, though, are coming for blood, so we thought he would struggle in Infinity War. He must have known this since, you know, he wasn't even in the movie. Previously, Clint Barton has shown up to any scenario or fight he was required in, whether it be the Chitauri invasion, Ultron's assault on Earth, or Captain America's fight against Tony Stark's pro Sokovia Accords team. He could have made the effort, even if it meant risking his life to fight against Thanos, who's threatening the life of half the universe. Hawkeye has become a family man recently, but his family could have been wiped out in a snap of Thanos' fingers. Who knows? Is it possible that he lost his entire family already? Maybe we'll find out in Avengers 4. I never yielded! And as you can see, I am not dead! Strongest Black Panther The Black Panther is more than just a man in a suit, as Civil War and Black Panther showed. He has so many dimensions to his game, from his vibranium suit and claws, which make him nearly invulnerable to attackers and enemy bullets, to his expertise in the martial arts. He may not have Iron Man's weaponry, but T'Challa is the king of Wakanda. Being king means you have an army, and he commanded that army to take care of the Outriders threatening the country he swore to protect. It's a shame that when Thanos snapped his fingers, the Black Panther faded to black. Mr. Lord, can you get your folks to circle up? Mr. Lord, Star-Lord is fine. Weakest, Star-Lord. Since we first saw Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy, we adored his amazing personality and incredible combat skills. He comes with a lot of bravado, a jetpack, and some pretty cool blasters. But he has one key trait that could change the game, his celestial DNA. In Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, though, he lost the essence that made him special by defeating his father, turning him into a regular human. In Infinity War, you could argue that his actions are the reason why 50% of the universe lost their lives. While Iron Man and Doctor Strange were doing a great job of trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet off of Thanos, Star-Lord learned from Nebula that Gamora was dead, and started wailing on Thanos, ruining everything. We weren't too sad to see him fade away at the end of Infinity War means more headaches for somebody, probably us. You guys know I can move things with my mind, right? Strongest, Scarlet Witch. Ever since we first saw her in 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron, it's been very obvious that Scarlet Witch was a powerful ticking time bomb. While there's definitely more to come from Wanda Maximoff in the MCU, she was very impressive in Infinity War. She shined when she joined the battle in Wakanda, especially when she telekinetically lifted one of Thanos' huge war machines into the air. She was also able to hold Thanos back when he was wielding five of the Infinity Stones. She may have disintegrated at the end of the movie, but we believe she earned her spot as one of the strongest Avengers. We're trespassing in this city and on this planet. Please get lost, Squidward. Strongest, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange first showed signs of great power in his short appearance in Ragnarok, where he teleported Thor around the Sanctum Sanctorum, made Loki fall through space for half an hour, created beer out of nowhere, and was able to locate Odin. He has so many weapons in his magical pockets that make him arguably the most well-rounded out of all the Avengers. With the Time Stone in his possession, nothing could stop him, and his power went up exponentially in Infinity War. He was a good match for Ebony Ma, one of Thanos' children and most powerful allies. He was able to create dozens of clones of himself, with each one capable of acting independently by casting the images of Ikan. 
He even cast the Crimson Bands of Sidorath, which were strong enough to briefly immobilize Thanos. And of course, he was holding his own against the Mad Titan himself when he had four Infinity Stones. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizard. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. And there you have it. Did you agree with this list? Are there any Avengers that we might have missed? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to CBR to keep up to date with all of our videos. Thanks for watching.